William Hawkins is in his happy place inside the cockpit of his own plane. It's a great plane for flying the sunset with a date or going down to Key West or Bahamas. He purchased the aircraft more than two years ago. This is a 1967 Mooney M20F. It needed a lot of work from the instruments to a paint job. Basic uninspired, everything looks the same, white with a stripe. I had that, but it was like a 50 year old white with a stripe paint job. It was flaking, it was dingy looking. Liam showed his new purchase to an artist friend of his, Matt Kress. I showed Matt the plane and he called it ugly and that that set a whole thing into motion. <laughs> he then asked Matt to paint the airplane. I don't know anything about aviation paint. We got to make sure this stuff sticks to the plane. Matt has done a lot of work around the Bay Area, including this massive mural of a turtle. I'm always up for the challenge. I've done some of the tallest murals in Tampa Bay. I've done a mural in downtown Channel Side that's 80 feet tall. He loves vibrant colors and unique shapes. My criteria for the plane was I wanted it to be different. Unlike anything anyone's ever seen, I wanted it to be colorful. I wanted it to stand out uh, in a crowd of a thousand planes. Over two months, the artwork started taking shape. Liam didn't have a clue what Matt was up to. No updates. Uh, I want a total blackout. I want it to be totally surprised. So the reveal was pretty special. This is insane. <laughs> I had so many ideas about what it could be, and I was wrong about all of them. They gave it a name, the Mooney Anomaly. The paint scheme is like no other and fits Liam's big personality. I don't know if it was made for my personality, but it definitely works with it. From the get-go, it drew attention. 50% of the time, their traffic controllers talk to me about the paint. <laughs> They're supposed to keep it just, you know, FA business, but um, they, they talk about it. Uh, one of the air traffic controllers here calls it Skittles. Liam will soon take it to Wisconsin for a huge annual air show, the EAA Air Venture Show. And next year, his plane will be a headliner at one of the largest aviation events, Sun and Fun Aerospace in Lakeland. It's a work of art that isn't stuck in a studio. This is for all to see. It's, it's one of those things you really have to, to touch and feel and see in person to really appreciate because every time I see that plane, I smile like it's the first time I saw it. This is Liam's first airplane, and it's now a celebrity. But at the end of the day, he just loves to fly it. In St. Pete, Jeff Van Sant, Spectrum News.